Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Religion is ease. Facilitation in the matters of ritual and tolerance in transactions. All praise is due to Allah, the Lord of all worlds, who says in his ever glorious book, Allah wants ease for you, not hardship. I bear witness. I bear witness that there is no God but Allah, and that Muhammad is a servant and messenger. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon him, his household, companions, and upon those who follow their path to the Day of Judgment. The manifestations of the glory of our pure religion are countless. Among the greatest of these manifestations are easiness and tolerance. Our religion is all about justice, mercy, facilitation, tolerance, and humanness. Anything that achieves these high values is a core or is a part of Islam. And anything that contradicts these values is contrary to Islam. And it's the higher purposes and for its higher purposes and objectives. The Almighty Allah says, He has placed no hardship in your religion and faith of your forefather Abraham. Allah has called you Muslims both in the past and in this message so the messenger can bear witness about you <clears throat> and so that you can bear witness about other people. Allah also said, Allah does not burden any soul with more than it can bear. The Prophet ﷺ has said, This religion of Islam is very easy. This, relig this religion of Islam is very easy. And whoever overburdens himself in, his, in this religion will not be able to continue in that way. So you shouldn't be extremist. But try to be near to perfection and receive the good tiding that you will be rewarded. And gain strength by worshipping in the mornings, in the afternoon, and during the last hour of night. And during the last hours of the night, the Prophet ﷺ has said, The best of your religion is the easiest of it. The Prophet, peace be upon him, also said, Allah has accepted easiness for this nation, and He disliked difficulty for them. In another hadith, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Indeed, I was sent with a tolerant, pure faith. When contemplating the life of the Prophet, وسلم, one realizes that he was the best example for his followers and for all humanity in his tolerance and facilitation. He, peace be upon him, said, Allah did not send me to be harsh or cause harm, but He has sent me to teach and make things easy. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, said about the Prophet, that whenever the Prophet وسلم, was given an option between two tidings, he used to select the easier of the two as long as it was not sinful. But if, it's, if it was sinful, he would remain far from it. The Prophet ﷺ has said, When I begin the prayer, I intend to make it long. But I hear a boy crying, and, sh and I shorten my prayer, being aware of his mother's emotion because of his crying. Tolerance and facilitation in our religion are a comprehensive and relevant feature. Regarding the, pra the prayer, the Prophet ﷺ has said, Some of you make people dislike good deeds. Some of you make people dislike good deeds. I mean the prayer. So whoever among you leads a prayer should shorten it because among them are the weak, the old, and the people of need. That's very important hadith. So I will say it one more time. The Prophet ﷺ said, Some of you make people dislike good deeds. So whoever among you lead people in prayer 
she charged it because among them are the weak, the old, and people of need. The Prophet ﷺ instructed Umran ibn Husayn how to pray when he was ill, saying, Pray while he's standing. If you cannot pray, pray while sitting. And if you cannot do even that, then pray lying, lying on your side. One of the examples of facilitation in performing acts of worship is the permissibility to not fast during the month of Ramadan in a case of traveling. One of the features of tolerance in the pilgrimage is the instruction to help weak people in performing Rami, stoning the devil. And the permissibility of throwing in behalf of those who are a unable to do it. Perhaps pilgrimage is the most act of worship that includes manifestations of facilitation as the Prophet ﷺ used to tell people whenever they did something in pilgrimage, do it, for no harm is done. All praise is due to Allah. The Lord of all worlds. May Allah's peace and blessing be upon Prophet Muhammad وسلم, his companions and followers. The Islamic Sharia marked with a facilitation and tolerance in its ruling and transaction. It has removed hardship in buying, selling, and demanding rights. The Almighty Allah said, You who believe, do not wrongfully consume each other's wealth, but trade by mutual consent. Do not kill each other, for Allah is merciful to you. Allah, glory be to Him, also said, If the debtor is in difficulty, then delay things until matters become easier for him. If you were to write it off as an act of a charity, then that would be better for you. If only you knew. The Prophet وسلم, said, May Allah show mercy to a man who adopts kind attitude when he sells, buys, and demands for the repayment of loans. Tolerance in selling and buying required that the buyer had to avoid exaggeration in prices, monopoly, cheating in measurement, and exploiting people's crisis. It also required that the buyer has to be kind with the seller and do not underrate the community. The tolerance is asking for payment of a debt required that the person has to be kind in his demand and show lenity. Our Prophet ﷺ told us that easiness and tolerance in transaction are cause of salvation in the Day of Judgment. He, peace be upon him, said, The person from among the people who loved before you was called to account by Allah on the Day of Resurrection. No good deeds were found in his credit except his being a rich man had a financial dealings with people and had commanded his servant to show mercy to those who were in stated circumstances. Upon this, Allah the Exalted and Majesty said, I'm more entitled to this attribute to waive his fault. The Prophet ﷺ also said, He who give respite to someone who is in stated circumstances or grant him remission, Allah will turtle him in the shade of his throne on the day of resurrection when there will be no shade except its shade. This applies to tolerance with people in all matters of transactions. May Allah protect our country Egypt and all other countries of the world. Thank you.